There's no place like Moab. Moab is surrounded by spectacular public lands, National Park Service, Bureau of Land Management, U.S. Forest Service, all of which offer multiple uses and a wide variety of recreational opportunities. It's the thrill of being out there and being outdoors. The beauty that's around you is amazing. We are very privileged to have our public land system, and with that privilege comes responsibility and stewardship. Keep in mind, it is not an amusement park up here. It can be very dangerous. In the whole state of Utah, this is the number one incidence for search and rescues. Coming out prepared and planning ahead, knowing where you're going and having a map with you is critical. Don't travel alone. Make sure you inspect your vehicle before you go out and make sure it's suitable for the trail that you're going to be going on. Bring plenty of water, one gallon per person per day and lots of food. Make sure that you're bringing safety equipment, wearing helmets, wearing any protective gear that you need for the day. Also protecting yourself from the sun. Cell coverage is very spotty up here. Let somebody know when you're gonna be back and what you're doing. It's very important to stay on the trail or on the road. We have very unique biological soil crust and any impact that we have on that creates these really long-term damages. And being very careful to let people pass in a way where you're not creating resource damage beyond the road is critical in an area like this. Don't make trails any wider than they already are. Remember that obstacles are part of the fun. Don't widen the trail by going around those obstacles. Travel slowly, obeying speed limits, and avoid high banking. Any time that we are not driving directly in the middle of the trail, we're creating this phenomenon called high banking. So we're actually digging down where the road goes and we have high banks on the sides. It really is a huge problem and it causes permanent damage. Nobody wants to see fences out there, but in order for us to protect plant life, there's areas where we've had to install fences. If we can keep people on trail and on the roads, then we can keep these areas as natural as possible. When you are hiking, practice leave no trace. Travel on durable surfaces like rocks or in dry washes where you're not gonna step on vegetation. Those small impacts that we have do have bigger consequences. Small impacts like damaging our soil crust can hurt the ecosystem and degrade the scenic value that these areas have. And that's something that we wanna help preserve for future generations. You have to be curious. When you're going up some of those steep hills, you have to look ahead and see if anybody's coming down first because you don't want to bunt in the middle, especially on some of these steep grades. Be respectful for other people. If you're driving, you come up on somebody, you slow way down, you don't dust them out, you tell them how many's behind you. Anytime that you come across someone else on the trail, take a moment to stop and check on them, make sure that they're doing okay. They might need some assistance. They might need a bit of direction about where they need to go next and how to get there. You stopping could make a huge difference in someone's day. Up at Sand Flats, our trails have shared user groups. All of the users need to share these trails. We want to follow the speed limits. We want to pass each other courteously. Motorized users yield to non-motorized users. And so we just need to think of all of the users and working together because it's all of our public lands and it's here for everyone to enjoy. Even if you're driving by and you see somebody else's soda can that they left on the side of the trail, it'll take you two seconds to stop, pick it up, throw it in your cooler, that way we can keep our trails clean and keep them beautiful for years to come. Anytime you're traveling in a natural area, you want to leave what you find, but also take out everything that you brought in with you. Things like human waste and all of your trash need to be packed out when you leave an area like this so that we can keep the pristine value of the land. Utah is unique in that you can take these off-highway vehicles in through town and you can drive directly to trailheads. It is a privilege to be able to drive on public streets. A couple things you want to keep in mind is that you want to make sure that your vehicle is street legal. In Utah, we're required to have license plates, insurance, we're required to have turn signals, a horn, 
and we don't want to lose that privilege. It is clear that many communities today are receiving more complaints about UTV and ATVs. The reality is it's simply a function of volume. The popularity of these machines and the visitation in our town is inevitable. It's going to continue to grow. To maintain civility and to maintain the opportunities that we all enjoy, we've got to be respectful because more and more individuals are driving on streets in small communities in these vehicles. When you're in town, drive slow. Throttle it down a little bit. You got neighborhoods, you've got you know people walking around, you got kids playing in the street. And if you reduce your foot off the gas pedal just a little bit, then you have less noise. And we want to protect these for the future so that you can come here and your children can come here someday and grandchildren. So we have to think of the long span. Our public lands are spectacular. Recreate responsibly and you'll be sure to have a great experience. Be safe. Stay on designated trails, practice proper trail etiquette, and make sure that you pack out all your trash when you're recreating on public lands. We want to make sure that Moab stays beautiful for not just our own enjoyment, but for that of future generations. And it's an incredible place to come visit, and it's our responsibility to keep it that beautiful.